वेलकम बैक दिस इज रुपेश एंड यू आर वॉचिंग सीपीपी नट्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन सी प्लस प्लस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर एंड गिव आउटपुट टू द यूजर सो इन शॉर्ट विल सी इनपुट एंड आउटपुट ऑपरेशन इन सी प्लस प्लस कोड सो दिस मच यू नो बिकॉज यू हैव वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सो दिस इज नथिंग बट गिविंग द आउटपुट टू द यूजर ओके सो दिस विल कम एज द आउटपुट सो लेट्स गो एर एंड जस्ट क्विकली सी दैट सी let's suppose you are willing to give some another message like bingo dingo and compile this go and app uh, why why this there is this bingo dingo concatenated with this upper string it's just because this c out work this way it is taking input from here and pushing on the output string so first it will take hi i mean h i space T H E R E like this it will keep on taking and go up to this. Once it will reach there, it won't do anything. It will terminate this statement and go to the next statement. Next statement is also a C out statement. So it will start taking from here and pushing on the console. Okay, so it will start taking B I N G O and will start pushing in the same line. Okay. now you have to tell explicitly that i want to break the line so for that the command is endl okay if you will write this it will break so let's check that see hi there this is rupeshan bingo dingo is coming in next line okay it's not like you can use here only you can use this and line anywhere in this line okay you can use here also like endl and like this but for that you have to tell that how much part of your statement is string and how much part is non string so this is string then you are printing the next line and this is string then next line then this is the string okay so we'll see that see hi there is coming then this and line is there that's why it is going to the next line and then it is printing this this is rupesh and then again it is going to the next line then it is coming in printing this bingo dingo so this is how it works okay so this was about how is endl work which is nothing but and line now let's talk about how to take the input from the user for that you have to create one variable i know you might get confused what is variable so let's just simply start with that you will understand it so this is the code to take the input from the user before what you was doing this was the syntax okay so this was the syntax to take the output to the user so this will be printed on the screen okay so if you will remember it this way that c out was the command to give the output then c in is the command to take the input okay and c out was taking input from computer like hi there this is the input and going c it is going this way to the c out but this c in is taking input from your user and giving it to number here so there is this number thing extra because you cannot just simply take value from user and put it somewhere somewhere is nowhere in your program okay you have to explicitly take it and place it properly in your code okay so if you are taking this number which is of integer type then you have to give integer data type integer data type means 0 1 5 10 and all that okay you can give minus values also so let's try to understand this number like this this number is a variable which will store some value what you are giving as the input to the system so where that value will go we all are familiar about this name called ram okay it looks something like this there will be so many slots one of the slot would be there like this and let's suppose you are giving number as 22 as input then that 22 will go to the ram and that slot name is number here like this okay so if you are creating a variable like this then you are telling that i will be storing integer data type which is nothing but 1 10 minus 15 and all that in our computer okay ultimately in our ram so what computer will do computer will see that okay you want integer storage okay i will provide that then it will give this much of memory to your number variable okay where you can store your data so it works like this 
So let's go and take the input from the user. For that you will have to run this. So we'll run this. It is asking now you put some value. See your this statement is executed first like hi there. Then only it is asking for you to give some input. So it is standing here only until unless you will give some input it won't go from here. So let's give some value 1 2 3 and hit enter. See it has exited successfully. Now it is asking you to give some input then it will go off. See like this. So we successfully created space then we give some value to that space and our program terminated. There is something missing right. We didn't take the output like we want to see what we gave as input right. So you can take this number and give output like how you are giving this high there output you can output this number as well. So let's go and compile this. See it is asking for me to give some input this time I will give 1 2 4 hit enter. See this time you give input and it is showing you that as output also. So this is how you take the input from the user. It's not like you can only take the positive input. You can take negative input as well. So let's go ahead and run this again. Minus 12. Hit enter. See it is telling you you give the minus 12 here. Okay. So this was about how to take number from the user. You can take string also. This is a string character string. This is called character string in our computer programming languages. So for that you will have to use string data type. Okay. So for now remove this integer data type and we can use string and uh, as I told you can give any name. I will give str which will tell that okay it is just a simple string. Here we will write str and again str. Okay. So what we are doing we are telling that this time I need a variable name str and its type would be string. Okay. So before it was integer now we want string. Okay. So let's run this one and see the output. See it is standing there waiting for your input. You can give input anything bingo and give enter. See it is printing that bingo here. Okay. So it depends what type of input you want you will create that type of data type and you will take that input using this C in into that and whatever you want to do you can do with that. Okay. So I just forgot to show you one more case with that integer. You can perform any operation with that. So before it was like number and we were taking number and this was the print here while you are printing you can add any value. Okay. So let's run this and see how this will give the output. So run this. Uh oh it is giving you the error. It is telling that your number name and this number name is equal but this is not equal. This is some another number because this n u m and b is missing. Now it is okay. So let's go ahead and compile this again. See it is waiting for my input. This time I will give 100 give enter see it is giving 110 so it is adding 10 into that so you can do almost all the logical stuff whatever comes in your mind okay so we'll keep on learning stuff like this and this is some theory part if you are interested you can note it down so that it will be a little easier for you to recap it okay so we'll quickly recap the whole thing again what we learned here if you want to take any input from the user you will have to store it somewhere and that depends what input you want to take from the user. If it is number type like integer and all you will have to take that into the integer data type. If it is string you will have to create the string data type. If it is in point you have to create floating data type that is a homework for you. Okay. Just go ahead and search for float in your book and try to run program using that. Okay. And you can take the output also like this one. You are taking the output. You can perform any operation on variables like add, minus, multiplication, division and all that. Okay. So let's look at the division case here. Like if you will divide it with 10, what would be the output here? So let's give some some value. Suppose 30. It will divide it with 10. So the answer would be 3 here. See. So these things are possible in your programming. Actually this is very basic stuff. 
when you will see some advanced C++ program, you will enjoy a lot. You can enjoy, I know you will be enjoying this program also because this is also like a magic only. So that's it. This was about how to take input and give output to the user. In next video, we'll learn about variables and the data types in depth. So this was about how to take input and output. That's why I included this variable thing in here because you cannot take input from the user without creating the variable. So in next video, I will explain what is this variable in depth and what is this data type okay because there are lots of data types i will be covering almost all the data types what c and c plus plus what c plus plus provides okay so i'll see you in the next video